Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another 2 million credit guide to help you earn them 2 million credits as quickly and as easily as possible. So this week we are in the Civic Touring Car at Lego Major East Reverse I think it is and yeah it's actually a lot more fun than I expected. Now remember if you do enjoy these guides, if they do help you get them 2 million credits, simply subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss these every single week. We do these every single Thursday morning so hopefully it'll help you get that 2 million credits as quickly as possible. And if not, you might be able to get the 1 million for the silver a lot easier. So let's get into this and show you how to take part in this event. So starting off with, you're simply going to go into sport mode in the top right hand corner. From there, you will be greeted with the online time trial section. And we're going to click on that and you'll have two separate time trials to enter. So we currently already have a guide for the Nürburgring GP on the channel. So if you want to check that out, simply click on the channel, look at the 2 million credit list and it'll be on there but we're going into the honda civic at lego there and you can see the current gold is a 29.825 i predict that's going to go down to a 29.2 because i think quite a bit of time is going to come off that i managed to get a reasonable lap in it really helped getting on early to do a little warm-up for 30 minutes take the kids to school come back and do another little 20 minutes on it so managed to get my time there to a 27.439 there is a lot more time left in my lap so that's why i think the p1 can go considerably faster because i made a few little errors that lost me at least a couple of attempts so let's get into this guide show you how to do it point out a few tips to get you this gold as well so make sure you exit this corner in third gear and then you're gonna rev this car out really rev every single gear that you can and into the first braking zone we're going to be looking for the little crossover point of the white line so as we come to this point here you can see the white line there we're going to break before them two white lines cross over really important to do it before that point now keep the car to the right hand side go down to third gear and then just a little downshift to second gear then back up to third gear for a little bit of rotation so down to second gear then back up to third gear trail break into corner left hand tire you really want to get onto this curb on the left hand side and then just be patient on the throttle here just wait for the rotation put that throttle down and you can see i'm playing with the throttle a little bit until i can feel that traction now you've got a lot of track on the outside they use the full width of that curb for the acceleration so you can really feed that steering wheel into a straight line now it's completely flat out through these corners rev out fifth gear do not change into sixth gear until you're off that curb into sixth now and then get the car over to the left hand side here you're going to feed the car to the left now at this point you're going to brake as the the other version of track splits off there the white line there is a really good reference you can see i'm on the brakes at that point dead on and now you're going to use some of that track to widen the line in and stay in fifth gear through this corner you're going to see you can use so much track limits that are available p1 there on the grass i didn't quite use that much but yeah it shows you that there's a lot available to take off these corners again through here you can get all the way left hand tire up onto the gray park keeping your right hand tire on the curb on the right now at this point you're going to rotate it in a little dab of the brakes and you're going to go down to fourth gear because it will give you better rotation i tried it in fifth it's not as quick go down to fourth and then get onto that throttle and accelerate out the corner in fourth gear you'll get really good exit speed you can see they're carrying the acceleration on and then go into fifth gear as you work your way down the hill now you're going to break nice and early for this corner you can see onto the brakes early it's very hard you can see the little warning sign on the right hand side you can use that as a reference i tend to do it by a visual reference to the corner now i did break slightly too late maybe you can see i'm slightly going to miss the apex here as i trail break into the corner but stay in fourth gear do not go down to third gear there because the shift to third to fourth will lose you time so it's important to try and avoid that shift so accelerate up the hill all the way to the top now revving out we're going to stay in fifth gear and we're going to look for the warning signal on the right hand side there that's your your braking reference i'm going to break before that though because you need to break a little bit earlier down to third gear and then we're going to go back up to fourth gear before we get on the accelerator so keep your eye on the gears and the accelerator trail braking into the corner and back up to fourth there before we even get on the throttle and then try and get on that throttle quite aggressively there because you need to carry the momentum through the corner now this corner again you can get right over the curb i give it a little lift here you can see a little lift off the throttle now you can almost do this flat out but i'm just taking it safe just to get the lap in i did do it a few times and it worked but sometimes if you hit the curb wrong you just understeer massively but i probably could have got away with it there keeping the throttle down and then as soon as your car is pretty much maxed out and revs in fourth gear you can see i'm onto the brakes and at this point you're going to go down to second gear and you're actually going to use a little bit of first gear for an extra bit of rotation you see a bit of first gear then straight back up to third gear miss out second gear and get on that throttle 
and you want to try and swing the car in from the left as much as possible. You can see I kind of don't get that line perfect, but you can see P1's taking that wider line, but you can get over the curb on the right here. So just be very patient before you put that throttle down. As soon as the car is on that curb, you're getting on that throttle aggressively. Just keep the car out of the wall on the exit, very important. And now put your foot flat down to the finishing line for a 127.439, not the best lap. Uh, there's a couple of attempts to come off that. You can see I spent like 30 odd miles on this after I'd come back from picking up, the, um, taking the kids to the school. So let's watch this lap from Chase Cameron with the kilometers now on. And again, you can see how much of the track limits we're really taking advantage of on this combination. It is massive how much you can take off these corners. And there is still a lot more available in the lap that I've done here. So I think if I was to push this, we could definitely get down to a low 27. I predict P1 will be well into the 26s here. So just bear that in mind with the goal time. Again, through here, look at the track limits that you can do. I didn't really take as much off as the top time did. So yeah, the curbs are basically the limit on this track, not the white line. You need to remember that curbs are the limit and that's how you need to race this combination. So here you can see I braked a fraction too late there. I did keep it on the track there and did just about hit the apex, but could have been a bit more aggressive on the apex. Managed to keep quite good speed though through the corner. So maybe only lost about a tenth of a second on that corner, not a drastic amount. And now going into that reference there, the next braking reference braking before that warning board. Again here, down to third gear, but then back up to fourth gear. Really important to do that. You do not want to accelerate out of these corners in third gear, because then you have to change gear just as you're coming out the exit, it would just lose you so much momentum. So remember, fourth gear for some of these exits. Now, first gear there for that extra rotation, you can see how much rotation it gives you. It really helps with the rotation. And then just use a lot of the curb on that final corner to straight, give you better angle into this acceleration zone as you're getting on the power for the straight. And yeah, a pretty solid lap, 27.4, and hopefully that is gonna help you get the gold. Now do remember, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We do these every week, and hopefully you'll get that gold as well. Take care, everyone. Bye.